Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video, How to Dress for Your Body Type by Body Part, Part 2. In today's video, I am addressing some of the biggest challenges that most of us face on a daily basis and tackling them part by part. I'm a firm believer that every woman has a unique body type that should be treated accordingly and not fit it into a generic group. For this reason, I've created this series. This is the second video of the series. And in the first video, I share valuable information on body proportions and the use of contrast that is highly relevant. So I, I really recommend you to watch that first in order to get the most out of this series. I'm going to start with the petite body type and before I start I want to make it clear that a petite body type means lack of height and, and it's a small frame. Some people confuse that with just lack of height but actually a petite is a body shape that it's, that it's small. So for this particular body type it's important that you don't overwhelm your frame. So your main goal is to elongate your silhouette as much as possible and eliminate anything that potentially shortens your silhouette. And that's valid for everybody else as well, but most, most importantly for the petite. Your best bets are pieces that elongate your frame, that have vertical lines and things that won't create any bulk. Choose dark monochromatic outfits that will be just fitting and just following your natural curves without adding any unnecessary bulk or being too tight. Thin belts, small accessories, small patterns, nothing that enlarges, nothing that overwhelms, big accessories and things like that should be avoided. Instead opt for small dainty ones. Use and abuse of shorts and show off your legs and mini skirts with a bit of heel. Pointed toes are preferably, of course, or square toes at max. Chunky heels, a little bit on the conservative side. Avoid at all costs anything that cuts your calves like midi skirts or cropped pants. There is one thing to consider though. If you are petite and you and you have a short torso, you have to compromise between making your torso shorter, even shorter, by gaining a little bit of extra height with high rise pants or skirts, or keeping it a little lower and gaining height at the end of your pants, like going all the way to the floor, you know, almost covering your shoes and pairing with high heels. So that, that was something to consider there. Wear deeper round scooter v-necks, crop tents, fitted jackets, straight leg pants, pencil skirts above your knee. If wearing a long, a long jacket, don't go beyond your knees and make sure you wear long pants underneath or a long skirt, something that will continue the line. Never wear a different color of shoes to your, to your pants and knee-high boots in contrasting color than your pants. That's a, an absolutely no-no. Avoid baggy pants with roll-up hems. Also dark wash is more preferable for you. Avoid at all costs anything that is double-breasted, that is chunky, that is too much volume, puffy sleeves, big colors, big lapels, big patterns, exaggerated pads or puffy sleeves, bulky fabrics, long vests, long blazers, anything too long that will shorten up your legs even more. Remember, every time you elongate your torso, by consequence, you shorten your legs and the most elongating thing is when you make your legs longer. So have that in mind. For the girls with a large bust out there, your golden rules are to elongate your torso and neutralize the volume of the trunk. The best use of contrast for you is to wear dark neutral colors at your upper body and lighter colors at your lower body. 
your absolutely best bets in terms of tops and neckline is a v-neck something that's open that will create a long line around your neck area wraps are fantastic for that and simple simple sleeves nothing with details no patterns preferably dark solid colors just following your natural curves wear tank tops underneath blazers and jackets you can wear if you don't have a short torso you can elongate a little bit and go just past your waistline just to elongate your figure anything that's got vertical lines wrap dresses in v-neck or prince's neck are perfect wear them above your knee in anywhere that feels comfortable you have beautiful legs so show them off as much as possible always a good idea to wear straight leg jeans and pants in general you can wear a lighter wash if you want to or even wide leg jeans you absolutely have to avoid anything that is bulky anything that will create any unnecessary volume around the bust area such as big scarves or patterns light bright colors and stiff fabrics that add volume like big puffs big colors lapels and double breasted jackets and, and blazers turtlenecks anything that is closed here and simplify the area and instead draw the attention to your beautiful legs or upwards to your face that's the the hide and seek game of style that it's so in, it's so interesting a fantastic way to layer for someone who's got a large bust is to wear a black dress with a v-neck and top it off with a lighter color blazer in a fitting in a fitting cut that has no detail to it just a little bit of pad just to structure your shoulders and balance out the whole look finish off with high heel shoes for the girls with large hips and smaller upper body your golden rules is to minimize the hip area of course and deviate the attention to your upper body the best use of contrast for you is to wear dark colors at your lower part and light colors at your upper part here you can wear anything you want you know depending on your height actually but you can wear patterns you can have light bright colors and keep your lower part as simple as possible and by that i mean no thick fabrics no patterns of course solid dark colors without much details no frills oh, sorry no no pleats no pockets protuberant pockets that pay a uh, Pay special attention to those pockets that poke out like that when you try them on. It's not a good sign. Opt for A-line skirts that will fall from your waist straight and will really deviate the attention, will just follow your curves and will disguise the large hips. The length of your pieces should, be, should fall right at the smaller part of your legs wherever it is of course anything that is elongating high-waisted if you don't have a short torso in a dark solid color normally is very elongating and finish off with the same color of shoes and pointed toes or something that shows your your toes that's also very elongating if you wear boots wear the same color like knee-high boots or over the knee boots whatever you prefer make sure that you're matching the color of the pants and in terms of fabrics mid-weight fabrics nothing too unforgiving and too pliable and nothing too thick that will create bulk great choices of dresses are wrap dresses shirt dresses a-line dresses so to counterbalance the volume of the hips you balance out your upper body the best use of contrast is obviously lighter the upper body type and darker at the lower body part here you can wear anything that is light and bright you can wear frills any details here preferably with a pad for a structure to structure your shoulders if it's too hot you don't want to wear a jacket make sure you have some details like frills or puffy sleeves here your best pants are dark colors dark wash jeans and fluid fabrics avoid pleats and pockets especially on the side and and any details and patterns and things that we add more volume than necessary another extremely important thing is the length of your jacket make sure that you won't fall right at the widest part of your hips it's either before and preferably if you have 
um, long torso or go past the hip area if you have a short torso. Have that in mind. Avoid tapered legs as well. They or skirts or shorts that are too short. Pleated skirts and skinny jeans or leggings are best avoided. Instead, when you're wearing mini skirt, make sure you wear with dark stockings underneath that elongates your legs. Another very important thing is to pay attention at the pockets at the back of your jeans or pants and notice if they are too small because they make your butts appear larger. And for those with large hips and thick thighs, I hope I can illustrate how skinny pants only reinforce the shape of our legs, which is the opposite of what we want. We want to de-emphasize it. So best bet is white leg pants instead because they do exactly that. They de-emphasize our thighs and hips. For the ones with a small breast out there, you have to do exactly the opposite of someone with a large bust should do. So instead you wear light colors, light bright colors, you wear details around your bust area like frills um, and big colors and things like that. But again, pay attention if you're not short torso because they can be a bit, can lack a little bit of proportion. So we have to be mindful of two issues and which one bothers us the most. So if your main concern is your small breast, wear a turtleneck, something with a higher neck, and of course you have to pay attention to your bra, to the underwear, and wear with something that will push them up and will create a little bit of volume or cushion or something like that. There are excellent models out there so make sure you get most appropriate underwear for that so you can wear chunky knits and and what you have to avoid is strapless tops or things that are too just wrap tops are also best avoided narrow shoulders or sloppy shoulders your best bets are structured shoulders here in the forms of blazers if it's too hot you don't want to wear a blazer just make sure that you have some details around your shoulders like such a frills or puffy sleeves are very much in at the moment so you make sure that you you wear something that any details around your shoulder area puffy sleeves with, without exaggeration but a little bit of something like i'm wearing here with a little bit of structure is really really recommendable a little bit bigger pads and things and you can wear even double breasted if you want to. Both necks are fantastic and obviously avoid outer necks or anything without any structure. Too thin of fabrics with turtlenecks or raglan, raglan sleeves are best avoided and outer neck tops. And the opposite holds true for somebody with athletic shoulders or those swimmer shoulders. Show them off wear strapless tops and outer necks and opt for raglan kind of sleeves that are more flattering for you. Wrap tops are best avoided, double-breasted tops or anything that's cropped, big details around your shoulders. Keep the area simple. Your best contrast of colors is dark on top and light underneath because normally you have flat hips and anything with big patterns at the top, avoid the big details here, big lapels and collars. For the ones who want to disguise a large tummy area, your first rule is to keep the area simple by dark solid colors in elongating figures. Nothing that it's too tight or too loose. Mid-weight fabrics are preferably, again, a little bit of decolletage here to draw the attention upwards or downwards to your legs, something that will deviate the attention from the problem area. Anything that won't mark the, the tummy area. Tunics are great for that or long cardigans with a long vertical line. Obviously v-necks to elongate the upper area, wear a beautiful small scarf or a, a beautiful necklace to draw the attention upwards and jackets that fall right before the hip area or go past the hip area make sure that you're wearing something that's slimming underneath preferably in a dark color great dresses are empire or a-line dresses that are fluid and just follow the natural curves in terms of jackets and blazers, structured ones and adjust but not too fitting are your best bets, double or single breasted.
Pants and skirts preferably with a side zipper, no detailing here. And pants that will fall a little bit lower your natural waistline with a bit of stretches preferably. Avoid at all costs crop tops, jackets and blazers, belt in contrasting colors, pants and skirts with side pockets and white leg pants. Low rise jeans are best avoided as well. For the plus size, the overall rule is to elongate the entire silhouette by verticalizing the body and showing skin in the right places. This is key. It's not wearing black from head to toe and call it a day. You have to show skin and use a little bit of contrast to get the result you want. For, for example, anytime, and that serves for any body type, by the way, Anytime you want to elongate your torso, showing this area and a little bit of wrist is the most flattering elongating effect. Because these are parts that elongate. Showing off a, a shoulder is only, is only flattering if you have square shoulders. So this part, when you elongate this part and create vertical lines, longer lines, this is very slimming. Anytime your legs look longer, you will overall appear longer. So for someone with plus size, it's about showing skin in the right places. For your lower body part, you have to avoid bulk, you have to avoid details, and you elongate your legs, but, but just keeping it simple and creating longer lines as well. It doesn't need to be pants or anything that goes all the way to the floor. You can show a little bit of skin in your legs as well, but make sure the length of your pants or skirts fall at the narrowest part of your legs. And complement that with a bit of heels and pointed toes or square toes something that will create a longer line. Any part of your, your garment should finish at the smaller part of your body, being the arm, the torso or the legs. Once you understand that and you play with the concept of contrast, then you have it all figured out. Absolutely golden rules. Nothing like a beautiful skirt with a little bit of cut out either on the side or at the front to elevate any look and create that oomph that we all want. Invest in quality accessories, something that will elevate your look. Beautiful jewelry are a great compliment. And remember, the bigger the frame, the bigger should be the accessory and the opposite holds true as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this series. It was not a long series anyway, it was just, just two videos. I tried to encompass as many body parts as possible and I hoped I addressed that to your liking. And let me know in your comments what your main concerns are. And of course, please go ahead and like this video if, it was, if you found it useful. And consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. Bye.